On one of my videos entitled, Solved, How Did Jesus Fulfill the Law? I explained how Jesus fulfilled the law by obeying it. And I went right in, deep into the scriptures, deep into the original Greek. And in the comment section, I also explained, listen, Jesus is Jewish. He was a Jewish rabbi. And as a Jewish rabbi, he would talk like a Jewish rabbi. Go and ask any Orthodox Jewish rabbi today if they fulfill the commandments, if they fulfill the mitzvah. And they would answer you an emphatic, yes, yes, of course they fulfill the mitzvah. So to fulfill the commandments or to fulfill the law means to obey it. And in that video, I encouraged every Christian to follow the example of Jesus and to fulfill the law, to obey the law. Celeste Worship asked a question. What about Galatians? And she quoted Galatians chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. Let's read it. Paul says, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? that you should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that ministers to you the Spirit and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing, the scripture here of course is talking about the Tanakh, what most Christians would call the Old Testament, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Notice Paul emphasizes here all things. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident. For the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that does them shall live in them. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. So Paul very clearly here condemns the idea that you are justified or that you are saved by the works of the law. Notice, in context here, Paul is talking about the works of the law. This is very important to understand because there is a big difference between the works of the law and the entirety of the law itself. That's why Paul said very clearly that cursed is everyone that does not do everything, okay? That is written in the law. So the question is, what are the works of the law? Because this is very, very important. Because let's not forget, this is the same Paul in Romans chapter two that said that the doers of the law will be justified and in this same book, in Galatians, just a few chapters after Galatians chapter 5, Paul brings down the law. We know that there are 613 commandments in the Torah, in the law of God, okay? And of those 613 commandments, there are two categories. There are the negative commands and there are the positive commands. The positive commands are the thou shalt commands. The negative commands are the thou shalt not commands. There are 248 positive commands. Commands that command you to do something or command you to do some kind of a work. And 365 of them, more than half, are negative commands which are thou shalt not. The thou shalt commands, the 248 thou shalt positive commands, are commands that demand action. They demand work. The negative commands, the 365 negative commands, more than half of the Torah negative commands are the thou shalt not commands, the commands that demand you to abstain from a certain action, to abstain from a certain work. So in Paul's day, there were a lot of people that did all the do's. I mean, they did all the things they were supposed to do, and they did it not necessarily because they loved God, but because it made them look good. Look how holy I am. Look how much I'm obeying God. Look, look how much I'm obeying the law of God. Look what I am doing. 
it's so easy to prove the positive command, the works of the law. It's not so easy to prove the negative commands. I mean, it's easy to prove that you're doing something if you do it right in front of somebody, but it's not so easy to prove that you're not doing something even in secret, okay? So this is where Paul steps in. He says, listen, you're not saved just by the works of the law. You're not justified by just doing the works of the law in and of themselves. You've got to remember the negative commands. And that is what he brought down in Galatians chapter 5 when he said fornication, variation, emulations, revelings, idolatry, adultery, heresies, envyings, uncleanness, lasciviousness, drunkenness, murdering, seditions, sorcery, prostitution, and lying, and anything like these. If you do any of these, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Where did Paul come up with those commands? Where did Paul come up with that list? It's the Torah. Paul was saying, listen, don't just go by the works of the law. Don't go by just the positive commands of the law just because you want to look good or make yourself feel better that you actually did something. But you better go by the negative commands, the thou shalt nots, okay? And these are the thou shalt nots. And he listed them in Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 to 21, okay? And he said, if you do any of these things, if you break the law of God in any of these points, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. So Paul was preaching obedience to Torah, he wasn't saying throw it out. He wasn't saying we don't go by Torah no more. All we do is just go by faith. He was saying, no, it takes faith to actually do the negative commands, to comply with the negative commands, to incorporate those negative commands into your life, to actually resist the works of the flesh, okay? So that's what Paul was saying. It's very important to understand that Paul was preaching obedience to Torah, he was just preaching against those who just go by the works of the law, but they neglect all of the thou shalt nots. Don't forget that.